we literally just read Kamala's book and pointed out a major discrepancy, mainly that her grandmother, who she produced a photo of herself with, happened to die before Kamala was born. So yeah, it was a little odd, just asking questions here. Well, today we were able to secure the birth certificates and the death certificates and some marriage certificates, which confirmed that Kamala either made a huge mistake all by accident, or she outright lied because she wanted to convince the public that she was black. Do not go away, you guys, because this is about to get crazy. Okay, this Kamala Harris story is getting crazy. Crazy because YouTube tried to impact the video. 40,000 people watched it live, and it got half a million views in a couple of hours. And then YouTube was like, this video is, can only be seen by people that are 18 and older because there's graphic violence. What? And then we were able to secure death certificates and birth certificates and marriage certificates and can now confirm to you guys that Kamala Harris is lying about her genealogy. She either made a mistake or she told an outright lie. And it's getting creepy. And you guys should join us because we are going to show you all the evidence that we pulled, which I believe verify that this woman is not black. Like not even a little bit. Not even a little black, Candace Owens just said about <laughs> this woman right here. And as I can look and see, her father, Donald Harris, looks like a black man to me. So at the very least, she is a little bit black. I mean, you got to give this to old Camilla Harris, whether you like it or not, people. You got to. <clears throat> it's time to call a spade a spade. This is what it all boils down to. Oh man, where's my manners? How you guys doing out there tonight? I'm doing pretty good myself. A little tired, but I figured I'd get this particular uh, video out because it's something I want y'all to know. Okay? This thing with Camilla Harris and her race is just going too far. She's black. The one drop rule does apply in this situation. Regardless of who like it or not, that's basically what it is. She is. She's black. But I'm going to say this again. I said it before. I'm going to say it again. It's the culture that makes the difference in how she was raised. Is she the American black? No, she's not. She came up in the India culture. All right. But her father, Mr. Harris, is he's black and that's just what all it boils down to now the thing is is this <clears throat> you have to ask yourself why is candace owens so invested in trying to prove that camilla harris is not black see that's what you got to ask yourself do you really think she cares i don't think so but what i do think is that this is a distraction people see this is what we gotta focus we gotta focus in our minds on the things that really means something something of substance and significance <clears throat> for the betterment of us as a people now here's the deal while we sitting up here talking about if camilla harris is black or not black or whatever the enemy is meeting the, the, and they're discussing us you understand and what the next thing they're going to pull on us if you understand what I'm saying now this is sister Dee Dee Curtis Dr. Dee Dee Curtis that is you know I was scrolling through YouTube and I found her and uh, hey she has a very very compelling um statement or story whatever you want to call it about what's happening behind the scenes as we are being distracted with this mess right here and that's all it boils down to this sister right here dr dd curtis says that while we are being distracted the un and world health organization had a meeting about us you see, this is what we should be focusing on. You understand? I think the last time they had a meeting, 
a very, very detrimental worldwide event event took place probably about four years ago now and things haven't been the same ever since and now they're having a meeting again okay and more than likely it's to sum up the first round of the meeting they had four years ago of that thing that went out that special event that affected a lot of people on this planet worldwide nationwide whatever you want to call it okay this is what we need to be focusing on people time is running short and we don't have time for silly games now if I had to guess matter of fact I would bet that Kamala Harris and the powers that be along with Candace Owens is all included in keeping us distracted willingly okay because of this particular thing right here okay now without further ado I think what I'll let this sister right here do is tell you for herself check this out okay we have a big deal that's going on right now as a matter of fact it's going on in New York the United Nations is meeting and right now they are discussing how they will take sovereignty from all countries in the world all countries who are members of the united nations or who are members of the world health organization who they are discussing whether you give up a uh, national sovereignty in the case of whatever they deem is like a health emergency. If this does not scare you, I can't tell you that anything else that will. We have been hearing about this new whatever order for many, many years, but let me tell you, it is right here in our faces. And right now they're doing all of these things because they're very afraid that Donald Trump might win again. And let me tell you what Trump did. When he was president and he went to these organizations, he ended our relationship with the World Health Organization because he saw what they had planned, that they had planned to go in and create emergencies and then say because of those emergencies that they created, that then they had the power to supersede any other country's sovereignty. They were superseding our U.S. Constitution. That is what they're meeting in New York for tomorrow, which I believe is September 23rd, if I'm not mistaken. That is what they're meeting about. If that does not scare you, that a non-government organization, and do you understand that organizations like the World Health Organization that's basically funded by billionaires like Bill Gates who believe in uh, over-vaccinating people, and we know what happened with him in Africa, and if you don't know, then you can go to uh, YouTube and find out, or you can go to uh, X and find out, because, you know, uh, if you're looking for something and you use Google, you know it's not going to come up. But anyway, I wanted to make sure that everyone understood what an, a terrible situation we're in right now. Biden, we understand, is over there doing whatever. But right now, they're pushing all of these agendas that they know are detrimental to 99% of the people in the world. If this happens, then we will not have a U.S. Constitution. You understand that. That you have people that no one voted for. We did not vote for anyone in the World Health Organization. And I'm going to tell you about these organizations like this. These organizations are put together. Some uh, this these wealthy groups decide that they want to create an organization that's going to be over health care. And so that's exactly what they do. They create their own little organizations and say, guess what? We're going to be over health care and we're going to be able to go and do just like they did in Australia. You know, in Australia, they went and took the kids from their homes and, or took them from schools and vaccinated them without their parents' consent. You know that they can do that. They also have these camps that they call it so that if someone has whatever pandemic or pandemic they have at the time, they can go and take the people out of their homes and put them into these camps. They are meeting about that in New York City tomorrow, okay? U.S. Senators, Republican Senators are opposed to it. Harris, Biden are in favor of it. They're in favor of giving up our U.S. sovereignty. 
Now, don't y'all find that more important than focusing on if Camilla Harris is black or not? <laughs> I can tell you this. This is way more important to me what this sister right here is talking about because these people right here, you know, uh, giving themselves the right and ability to force you or try to force you to do something that you don't want to do like they did four years ago when a lot of people lost their jobs simply because they didn't want them to do they didn't want to do what they wanted to try to force them to do and we all know what that was you understand what i'm saying here we go again we don't have time to play because this thing is winding down and, and uh hey the devil is on his way and while he's on his way he wants things to be on this earth a certain way thereby you can belong all to him for him to do with your soul as he will okay that's what this is all about new world people we do not have time to be sitting up here worrying about things of no substances and no significance. You understand what I'm saying? Now see, this is going to the people that has sense, common sense, and spiritual sense. Now, I'm sure for those guys, some people that don't have that, this is just going to go right over their head and they're going to say, hi, they don't know what the hell they're talking about. I don't want to hear that mess. That's basically what it all boils down to. But here's what it is. This is where the rubber meets the road, people. Get ready. Get ready. It's time to get ready. We are at the back of the book. Revelation is where we are now. And we're in a certain stage to where it's going to be some serious tribulation. If you dig where I'm coming from. That's before the Most High comes back and destroy this mess and fix things for the new kingdom. That's all I got on this one, people. Uh, I want you guys to tell me what you think about this particular video right here. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts on it. In the comment section, if you can comment. If you can't, for those of you that have my email, let me know anyway. This is James and people, please remember to live your life as though we are being watched simply because we are and I'm out. Peace.